have on here one of the most hyped baby items which is hey guys it's natalia and welcome back to my channel if you are new here make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you can join me on my youtube adventure sharing my experience reviews and lifestyle videos so i love saving money and i am going to be sharing with you guys some information so that you can save some money on some baby related items as well so basically i had this idea that i should compare two baby items that are alike but one is just better than the other so no need to waste money on both i'm going to leave amazon links for all of the better baby items down below just so you can click on it and know what i'm talking about so yeah it'll make it a lot easier this is just a couple baby necessities that everyone is going to need on their baby registry so you might as well put the better one on it so you don't have to go out and buy it later <laughs> excuse this stain on the chair i bought it like this uh because it was cheaper so <laughs> all right so the first thing that i have on my list is regular baby pajamas for like newborns or the newborn gowns and i 100 percent recommend getting the gown so since you're going to be up in the middle of the night changing these diapers every like one to two hours you might as well just have the gown so you could just slip it up you know open the diaper change it and then slip the gown back down it's a lot easier than uh trying to wiggle with them since they literally just want to stay in a ball all the time then i have on here the swaddle me blanket from the brand swaddle me and just a regular swaddle blanket so the swaddles from the brand swaddle me are 1000 percent easier than using a regular blanket because it's a lot smaller it's literally like a little burrito you stick the baby in there and then you velcro the velcros across and they're in there and they're nice and tight and there's not a lot of extra blanket then I have on here one of the most hyped baby items, which is the Mamaru versus a regular swing. So let me tell you, Caden had the Mamaru. He had a rock and play. He had two different style of Graco swings and uh, he didn't know the difference. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and let you know that you can go ahead and save that $250 and buy the rest of <laughs> the baby items that you need and you can skip out on the Mamaru. Your baby will be fine. You'll be fine. I did it. I bought the Mamaru. I bought the other ones. It was a waste of money. Then I have on here a baby wrap versus a baby carrier and I will say that the wrap was more comfortable but let me tell you, it does come in like an 11 foot literal this wide, 11 feet long, and you have to put it on, wrap it this way, flip it over, wrap it this way, twist it, wrap it. It's a lot. I'm 5'7", and I always struggle to have it not drag on the floor. So if you're shorter than 5'7", it's going to be dragging on the floor. It's gross. Just just get the one that's already put together. It will save you a lot of time and a lot of headache. <laughs> Manual pump versus the electric pump. For starters, through most insurances, you can get a electric breast pump free. All you have to do is type it in on Google and then they'll pop up and then all you have to do is put in your insurance information and then it will show you which ones your insurance company allows you to pick from and then from there you can pick and you can get a pump for free and with this you can do it every two years your insurance should cover it so don't spend money on a breast pump um but comparing the electric to the manual obviously with the manual one you're gonna have to spend double the amount of time because you can only pump one at a time because you have to hold it and then pump it and then switch to the other side hold it and pump it i mean i have both but the only time i use the manual pump is if i forgot my electric pump while i was at work or 
if I was like in the car for something for a long period of time or if I was traveling then I would just use the manual pump because it, it is a lot smaller and takes up way less space but it's it's annoying because <laughs> it takes a lot of time <laughs> Then I have on here a boppy versus a nursing pillow. I got a coupon from somewhere that I could get a free nursing pillow if I just paid for shipping. So I think it ended up being like $20 for the shipping and then it took a couple weeks to get it. So I will say that the nursing pillow is significantly smaller than the boppy, which is convenient now since we are still breastfeeding and he is 20 months old and he is way bigger than when he was first born. But when he was first born, I used the boppy for like the first nine-ish months. So I think the boppy is a good investment. The nursing pillow you can skip out on. It's not really a necessity. I mean, I use it now, but it's you could really just put a pillow under your arm if you... Uh, are still breastfeeding this far along in the journey <laughs> and with the boppy it's a lot easier with them in the beginning because it's a lot fuller and like bigger so it really props them up so it's easier to feed the baby with the boppy all right i have on here a audio monitor versus a video monitor so when i was making my baby registry i was scrolling along looking at the prices and obviously i had pregnancy brain and like this obviously isn't logical, but I thought that since the video monitors were so expensive, I should save someone some money and just put the audio monitor on my registry, which ended up leading to me having to pay for the video monitor myself. So I don't really know what like logic that was. Um, I didn't start using the video monitor until I, like right before Kana switched into the crib, but also when he was learning how to roll over. I set up the video monitor just to make sure that he wasn't rolling off the bed while we were co-sleeping, but now he is contained in his lovely crib, but I do like to watch the monitor when he goes to sleep just to see what he's doing because sometimes he likes to just talk to himself before he goes to bed and so um just go ahead and skip the audio monitor and put the video monitor on your registry i have on here plastic bibs versus cotton bibs and i personally preferred the cotton bibs even though obviously you have to wash them after every use like in the washer and you can't just like wipe it off and reuse it that way. I just felt like the necks of the cotton ones are more comfortable than the plastic ones that we had. So, I mean, unless you can find a good brand, that was my just like personal preference with those. And then I have a lightweight stroller versus a jogging stroller. So I was talking to one of my patients at work before I decided on a stroller to add to my registry and she was talking about how great the jogging stroller was and just how much easier it was and blah blah blah. So I get it. I put the jogging stroller like travel system on my registry and then I ended up getting it. Let me tell you look at the weight of the stroller when you're adding it on because this thing was big it was tall it was big it was heavy it barely fit in my trunk it was just too much i hated it <laughs> I, I hated it unless i had to use it and when i was in the store it was just so big i would literally run into things all the time like it was it was a disaster I mean, if I was hiking up a mountain or like on a trail or something, it would be great. But like for everyday use, it was just too much. So I ended up having to buy myself a lightweight stroller. I recommend checking the weight and the height of the stroller before you buy it or before you put it on your registry. Because you could end up with a monster like the one I had. 
but the lightweight stroller that I do recommend is the Graco Modes Light, Modes 3 Light, something, I'll link it down below so you guys can see what I'm talking about, but I really, really love this stroller. It's handsome, my favorite stroller that I've had, and I have had three strollers so far. I hope you guys learned something from this video. I hope I can save someone some money so you don't have to go out and try both of the same items like I did. Just go ahead and get the better one. I promise you, I'm telling you, person to person, <laughs> mom to mom. If you enjoyed this type of video, make sure to give it a like. If you have not already, make sure you are subscribed to my channel down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!